Hey there, thank you so much for watching. Welcome to video every day in April, day three. Today is a Wednesday and that should be a what I spent Wednesday. And I'll let you know what I've spent over the past month, or excuse me, over the past week. So that would be last Wednesday until this um, Tuesday. Um, but in the process of this video every day, I'll also kind of give you a couple updates and kind of let you know what's going on with me. So a quick update on spending, nothing super exciting, which is a good thing. When it comes to money and spending, I like to automate and make it as simple. I almost said as boring, which, hey, money and being boring are, are things that are not bad, um, as long as it's boring kind of in the right direction. So on Thursday, I spent um, some money on clothing. Um, I had a professional event coming up, and I wanted to look nice, so that's what I did. Um, on Friday, I spent 50 bucks. On Friday, I spent $10 for um, Starbucks. Actually, I brought it to the office on, oh, backing up last Wednesday, I also spent $18 ShopRite for groceries. Uh, Saturday was a no, spend. fast forwarding to the following Saturday was a no spend day, which is good. I just kind of spent it chilling out, relaxing at home. I had the rehearsal in the morning and then I came home and just was done for the day. Um, and then Sunday, I spent $28 at Wudown for groceries. Um, and then Monday, yesterday, or excuse me, Monday, the first day of April, I spent $10 for gas. So that was my spending. It was pretty standard, pretty um, straightforward. The clothing was unplanned, meaning it wasn't in my original budget for the month, but neither, neither was the professional event. So I'm okay with that. So that's what I spent. Um, I also wanted to do a quick shout out to Sarah Marlowe, and I will link to her channel below. She's actually the channel... Um, that inspired me to do this way back in 2015. I've been watching her since 2015, so about four or five years now. She is amazing. I think she started out as sort of like a DIY craft queen, and she would do these tutorials on how to make um, like jewelry and sort of cute accessory, uh, accessories and things like that. She's an amazing um, makeup artist as well. I think that's her training. So that's how she started out like way back when. Um, but her channel's kind of grown as she's grown and evolved with her. Um, and now it's kind of like her life and what she's doing. She's getting a degree in anthropology, I believe it. Um, was it Michigan State? Sarah, correct me if that's not right. But it's really been so cool and so encouraging to watch her along her journey growing up from this like adorable, essentially a kid, like she was a kid when she started. And now she's like this woman that's coming into her own in terms of her interests and what she's pursuing um, and, and sort of her path. And that's really encouraging to me because I aim to grow as well. I feel like um, we none of us are ever there fully, like we never fully arrive. Um, we're always in the process of growing and changing and learning. And the key is to enjoy where you are. I know that's a challenge for me because I tend to focus on things that aren't as I would like them to be. I feel like um, I spend a lot of time being dissatisfied. <laughs> One of my friends is like kind of in jest, but not really. She's like, nothing's ever good enough for you. And sometimes I feel that way too with myself. Um, like many of you, I'm sure I'm really hard on myself. And that leads, it's not productive because it leads to sort of this feeling of like, well, what's the point? So I'm really aiming to, um, to hit that sort of steady balance between growth, ongoing growth and learning and pursuing things things that you know you can do and fully reaching your potential and giving yourself, being kind to yourself. I think that's sort of, um, I would say the theme of this month is being kind to yourself. My word for the year is grow and that's what I aim to do, but I also aim to do that um, sort of holistically in all areas of my life. So all that to say, um, I love watching Sarah's channel. I love that she's back making videos like many of us, like me as well. I, she, I tend to go up and down, but um, you just you make videos and you take a step back sometimes when life gets a little busy and then you step back in So I'm I for one. I'm really glad that she stepped back in so Sarah shout out to you and thank you for making videos and Here's to a fabulous um, April and a fabulous summer spring and summer coming up so that was my what I spent Wednesday and also my shout out um that's where we are already. I can tell, I feel like this video every day has been positive because it's encouraged me to get up a little bit early and enjoy. I have a coffee here. So I do that. I try to do that in the morning before work, which is a great um, discipline just to cultivate in general. So 
here is my request of you. Please let me know if you have any uh, ideas or any questions, anything you'd like me to cover in an upcoming video. I have some ideas of my own, but I'd love to know what's of interest to you. I do definitely look at my um, videos with most watch time that are the, the most popular, and that tends to be things like affirmations, wins and fails, um, goals, um, manifesting stories, stories like that. Um, so that's where I'm going to be focusing. But if you have specific questions, I would love to answer them. So please leave them in the comments below. And thank you as always for watching, and I hope that you will keep watching. Bye.